mm, is we are not the only country in the world that has got presidents and deputy presidents, presidents and vice presidents, prime ministers and deputy prime ministers. We never hear of these kinds of uh, altercations and imbroglio from other parts of uh, the world. It seems to be a very uniquely uh, Kenyan thing. <laughs> and again, as they were making the constitution, writing the initial bombers draft and uh, the subsequent drafts, one of the things that uh, we thought we wanted to do was to secure the position of uh, deputy president, yeah. and which is very important, particularly for purposes of consideration of succession issues in the event of all those uh, things that are, have been contemplated in the succession of the president, we secured that office. And having secured it, something is wrong. That something that is wrong cannot be something within formal government. Mm. It is something in the informal spaces, in the informal landscapes where people are going into government to do business with the government, when you hear Adani, mm. Adani may have an Asian face, but Adani is a Kenyan. Adani sits somewhere in uh, powerful places in this country. Otherwise, Adani would have run away by now. We say of uh, the burglar that uh, he comes, he breaks the window, he tries to come in and uh, he doesn't uh, manage, you see him, before he breaks through the window, he runs away. But who is this Adani who cannot run away? Mm -hmm. you know, we are telling him, Adani, we have seen you. And then we are seeing uh, justification from high places, on X platform, on uh, Facebook, so there are those quarrels, those altercations within those spaces. And it is the wrong philosophy of government, wrong philosophy of why people get into power, that we get into power so that it is our turn to eat, eat and to eat illegitimately. Mm -hmm. And this parliament here, which has no moral high ground from which it can and should impeach anyone. This parliament here, a couple of months ago, was vetting cabinet secretaries. It was vetting individuals who told us that they had 100 million shillings. Two years ago, they have come back. They are saying they now have 600 million. Hmm. They have 800 million. This parliament has not taken the trouble to interrogate how those funds have multiplied so suddenly. They have not interrogated these people to ask them how much tax they have paid since they accumulated this extra 800 million. So the deputy president and the president come together as candidates seeking to be elected they agree on games of numbers, and they agree how they are going to share government, and they see that uh, they are not quite getting there. Then they look for Moses Wetangula, they look for Mzalia Mudavadi, they tell them that uh, you will get 30%. Yeah. And that's 30%, we don't know how it defines itself eventually when we get into definitive landscapes. Yeah. But then they say, Mzee Navile Ikitu Sasa Ilikuwa Yetu, Mm -hmm. Then when you get properly ensconced in the comforts of power and state house, you start wondering about this thing which um, they hear once. Uh, Uhuru Kenyatta told us it's a relay. Why can't he let me uh, finish running? I will pass the baton mm. to him at a later time. So that's where the challenge rests. And then now we find them saying, oh, tribalism, oh, what not. Mm. We are a tribal country. Nation. A tribal nation. And without at all tribal relative, 
בגן.